No doubt you're very well aware of all the mosquito companies out there right now touting organic and natural solutions to managing your mosquito problem in your yard. But what's really happening is technically what they're using is not natural or organic. Although the original product, Pyrethrin from the Chrysanthemum Daisy, is natural and organic, this is a synthetic supercharged version of the pyrethrin. So it's not really natural or organic. And even if it was, so what? Because ricin and cyanide is natural and organic, but it's totally lethal and it's non-selective too, which means whatever they're spraying cannot differentiate a mosquito from anything else. And they often advertise that they do just go after or target the mosquitoes, but nothing out there exists that can do just that. It can kill everything that it comes in contact with. So that includes the butterflies and the bees and all the other beneficial insects that you're working so hard to protect. They're killing them too when they get in contact with it. And that's not only in your yard, but your neighbors too. So although it sounds really good on the surface, what they're not telling you is not good at all. And here's something else you should know. It's very difficult to manage adult mosquito populations. You'd need to kill about 90% of the population in order to gain a foothold. But most of the time, these mosquito fogging companies only manage to kill 10 to 50% of the population, so they keep coming back. So let's take a more ecological approach to managing our mosquitoes. And the best time to do that is early June, when the mosquitoes start to become active. You'll know it when they do. And that period runs from June into October. But the easy way to do that is with a mosquito bucket trap. And that's what I want to show you how to do right now. So here's what we need. First of all, get a large dark bucket. Somewhere between two and five gallons is perfect. Get some organic material, whether that's straw or hay, or old shredded leaves or some grass clippings. All of that works. You can just use one of those items or mix it all together. And then you're gonna add it to the bucket. And you also need a sheet of these mosquito dunks. Now these are readily available at any hardware store. An entire sheet costs about 12 bucks and it will last you the entire summer. But this is the important part. So let's talk a little bit more about this. Now the active ingredient in these mosquito dunks is BT, Bacillus thuringiensis israeliensis, which is unique because it's specifically targeted to kill aquatic diptera. And the only aquatic diptera that's gonna be in your bucket are the mosquito larvae. So this is safe, it's targeted, your dog can drink out of it, so can the honeybees, it's not gonna kill any other beneficial insects that are laying eggs in there. It's specifically targeted, in this case, to the mosquito larva. That's exactly what you want. So here's how you make it, and it's very simple. Once you have your bucket, go ahead and get your organic matter and add a generous amount of whatever you have to work with. Since I have quite a bit, I'm gonna add quite a bit. Grass, hay, leaves. So that's about half filled. And what I'm gonna do is carry this to the spot that I decided it's gonna live and then I'm gonna fill this with water. And if it's warm enough, what's gonna happen in the period of less than a week, I'm gonna have a generous population of diatoms and algae, which is exactly what mosquito larvae feed off of. So of course, the egg laying mosquitoes are gonna be very attracted to that and they will lay their eggs in there. And so once they do, it's gonna take another four to five days before you start seeing the larvae. And that is gonna be little sw wiggly swimming worm-like creatures. They're easy to find, they're very small, but you'll see them in there. And that's the point that you add the mosquito dunks. So I recommend one entire dunk just sitting in the bucket and then the larva nibble on this and that BT, the active ingredient in this, is what kills them. Now, if you wanted to break this up, you could do that, but the individual pieces are not gonna last as long. So I recommend just using these in their entirety. And the other very important point with the dunks is to be sure to add them into the water right after the larvae hatch. You only have about four to five days before they mature, and once they do, game over, they're out of there. So the whole point is catching them in the larval stage with the dunk. Now, one bucket like this will handle a typical suburban yard, the normal average population of mosquitoes at that point. But if you wanted to up the game and add more of these buckets around your property, you could certainly do that. The mosquitoes are gonna love that, so you'll draw in more. But the other thing you wanna keep in mind is scout your property for standing water because that's gonna be competition. You really want this to be the only game in town because they're gonna be highly attracted to this. This is what they're gonna choose over anything else because it has everything they know the larvae need. 
but the less competition there is, the better. So go ahead and empty that standing water. But if you have a bird bath or a water feature that you want to keep active, go ahead and add a mosquito dunk to that as well. Also, for consideration, I recommend that you do this, and that is to get some hardware cloth or some grid wire like this and put it across the top and then weigh it down so it can't move because you don't want a chipmunk or a squirrel or something else going in here to, and then not being able to get out because obviously they will drown and you want to avoid that. So some method of protection will certainly go a long way. But this is such an easy, effective project. If you try this, I think you're going to be really glad that you did. So I recommend that you do and give it a go.